Hey everybody, it's Stella Artsy here. Today I wanted to talk on a topic that has been with me after I had a little art crisis a few nights ago. Now, it's over this saying that I've heard a lot, and with me personally, I've heard this saying countless and countless of times. And what actually got me thinking about this whole thing was a friend who, while playing a competitive video game, said if I was that bad, I would simply not play. So, uh, toxicity aside, this got me thinking. A lot of people don't do things simply because they feel as if they aren't good enough at said thing. Now this is a huge fallacy, and let's get into this. I think the one main thing that has gotten me throughout my art journey, aside from just enjoying the process, was faith. Now, faith doesn't just apply to spirituality. What I mean is, I always approach every piece knowing that one day in the future, I will be as good as I desire to be currently. One day, I'll be able to make what I want, when I want, how I want, and get paid for it. And seeing that goal in the background, I can always force myself to push further and push beyond the boundaries. And if I'm ever just not feeling great about what I'm working on, I always have that in the back of my head going, you got this, you got this, you can just keep on pushing forward. So with this mindset, I know that every piece, whether it's mediocre, trash, or my best yet, is made with that end goal in mind. Art has never been something that's going to come really easily and really fast. This is a long-term process, people. Nothing comes in just a few days, nothing comes in just a few years. Now, you might be thinking, if it's a long-term thing and I don't enjoy my art now, how am I going to enjoy it in the future? Well, let me tell you. Now, the first thing, and as odd as it may sound, it's just going to be stop caring as much and stop being so self-critical. Now, it's a really, really fine line here. Don't hear what I'm not saying. You should still be critical enough to notice your mistakes after you get done drawing. Take something from your piece and learn. If your lips aren't how you like them, study the lips. But you also can't criticize every single thing that you do. That ruins the flow, the creativity, and ultimately the fun of your art. When you're overcritical like this, your thoughts become how you act. What you say is what you turn into. If you say you're trash at art, you're just never going to grow, no matter how hard you try. Now, this isn't to say to look at every piece and be like, I am Mozart, because you are most certainly not a Mozart of art. It, it, it's as simple as it is, but you cannot go on hating every single thing that you do. Because if you do hate every single thing you do, you're going to hate everything you do in the future. You know what, as an example, let's go ahead and give two completely fictional characters. <clears throat> First is Bob. Bob is someone who admires art and from a young age wish he could do art. But Bob says, I'm just not good enough. I'll leave it to the professionals. So that's what he does. He goes through life loving art and wishing he could do it, but would never go and exceed his boundaries to actually pursue art. Then there was Gus, who was never particularly good at art, but ever since he was little, he worked on his art because he enjoyed it. And by the time he was old, he was a master of his craft and happy whilst he pursued art. Sorry, uh, every time I see characterized examples, I always think it's in like a British or Australian accent. I'm not sure what made me think that way, but whatever, that's not the point. I'm gonna diverge from the main topic a little bit here. I could make this into another video, but we'll see how that goes. The reason why some people stay mediocre and can't rely on that artistic faith is because they either don't try because they are afraid of failure or they don't push themselves because they are comfortable drawing a very specific subject. I'm not saying that drawing a specific subject is wrong, but if you never push yourself or try to go past what you would normally would, you aren't going to grow. If you don't spend time to grow, you aren't going to be able to make all the things you enjoy making. It almost always runs full circle. If you don't have the skill, you can't ever pursue what you want. It's as simple as that. So, in all, if you work hard and try new things, you get better. That's normal, but that isn't the title of the video. How do you enjoy it? Well, you gotta enjoy the process of learning or actually painting. Personally, I love sketching. Nothing excites me more than sketching. I enjoy painting, so put them together and I have an overall good time to the piece. No matter how I struggle, I will always find something to enjoy about what I'm working on. The process is one of my favorite things. The final piece it might not be that good and I might not enjoy it as much, but the process is what truly matters as an artist, in my opinion. Now, aside from mediocrity, if you aren't having fun creating what content you are busy creating, don't. 
unless you are using it for study. If you like sketching cats that are asleep on top of an oversized plant, do that. Become a master of what you love. Don't do something if you hate it. It's as simple as that. And one day, you will be the master of your own one thing, and you won't be enjoying something that you're mediocre at. You'll be enjoying something that you're great at. My personal belief is, if it's not for a study, don't don't push yourself too hard. If you're studying and trying to learn, that's great. Go and do that. Go learn. Become a better artist. You want to be a full-rounded artist, so if you ever go into a line of work that requires you to do art, you can draw whatever you need to. But, this is a big but, not an actual but. Stop. If you aren't having fun with your art and you aren't creating something that you want to create, why would you create it? Unless it's for money or income to support a family, then I could understand. But art isn't something you got to be perfect at. No one's selling those $8 million paintings that are just two colors because they're good at art. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Like if you liked the video, dislike if you liked the video. But if you did, tell me why in the comments below. You guys have a great day.